it's funny because in the past when people would ask me to share my testimony, I would kind of hide and shy away from it. I thought, well, it's so boring. <laughs> I grew up in the church. My family is Christian. Like, what, uh, what else is there? I'm originally from Peru, so I come from a culture where uh, religion is very important. Um, and, and I say religion because um, it overshadows having a relationship with the Lord. So it's everything is rituals and tradition, and if you don't follow that, then there's something wrong with you, and you are shamed for it, and your family can exclude you. Um, and that's really what happened to my parents and I. Uh, we were very involved in um, what our culture was telling us, and then one day out of the blue, we started going to a different church. And I remember thinking, like, this is different. <laughs> There's no images that I can look at while the guy is preaching, so I'm not bored. The music is different. There, there are kids here, and we have class, and we have fun, and we know all these stories. So that's really kind of how everything started for me. Um, I started to develop a talent for music, so I started exploring that. And by this point, I'm five, six years old. I kind of had to figure it out, you know? I. I understood what being a Christian was. And then we moved here to the States and we continue to go to church and participate and be involved and serve. But I, I learned how to go through the motions of, I know what's expected of me and I know how to play this role very well. I started to really meditate on that. Um, while everybody else was out there playing and going to the pool and just being kids, I was having just deep conversations with myself of, Amelia, why are you doing this? Why are you going to church? Why are you doing what your parents are telling you if there's no purpose for it? So I made a decision to accept him into my life. And it's been 17 years since. People think that, oh, you're a Christian, so you're perfect. Everything in your life is perfect. Um, but it's really quite the opposite. <laughs> um, Life is full of trials, and because we know that there's a spiritual warfare going on, um, things can, be, can get really, really tough. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that my, my walk with the Lord has been um, great, and that I've always been um, on top of it, and I've always walked with Him hand by hand, um, because it's not true. I'm asking myself the question of, am I doing enough for God, am I doing enough for the kingdom? Um, and He's answered me in, in, in mighty ways. And He's telling me, you know, Amelia, there's a lot more that I want I want for you, but there's also a lot more that I, would, I want from you.